But I don't need you to be intimidating someone or anything, so just get on your merry way. No, I mean, at this point, you're pretty much not helping us, even though we really need help. So I'll just, I'll just get your ticket submitted, and we'll get you out of here, and... Hello everyone, welcome back to DOJ, jumping in here with the San Andreas Highway Patrol, and usually we start out at the headquarters, but this time we are starting out at SSPD, because this is where I spawn in game. Uh, but we have a call coming out for a supervisor. I feel like I'm in the way and people need to get in here. Holy mother of mud! That is insane. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Talk just walks up. There it is. Let me get, I gotta get dispatch to add me to the call because I got a supervisor request for a minor accident that we gotta go to with an officer. Walkie 24, can I get attached to that call, please? Uh, once we get that postal, we'll be able to head out. That was like instantaneous. Holy shit. Uh, 293. Drawing route to 293. Why is it not? I haven't had to look for a postal code in a really long time after having that thing, and I don't know if it's actually going to work, or... It says 293. Oh, shit. It says drawing route to 293, but it doesn't actually put anything down. I wonder if it just... Uh, there is, like, no 293 for it. Uh, yeah, it's right there. Oh, maybe I'm so close. It's... That makes sense. Okay. How does he get into an accident right there? All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on with this guy. He should be right around the corner. Really shouldn't be that far at all. Oh, it's probably him right here. Don't mind that. That's my seatbelt, but we're about to hop out really quick. Lucky 2423. How you doing? Howdy. How's it going? Yeah, I was driving uh, down. Oh yeah, there's some damage there. And, uh, Car looks nice though. Pulled out in front of me. Luckily, he only hit my ram, my ram bar. But uh, yeah, you see him. Kind of left a little scratch. On looks like a pretty nice dent though. Yeah. That looks like a really realistic like crunch. Well, as long as you're all good, let me just uh, go ahead and fill out the paperwork for it. You could swing on through the sheriff station, get a new one. Yep, sounds good. I appreciate it. I tried to hurry up as much as I could. I was trying to get all my stuff ready. Swapping departments. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> all right, I'll file it. You can just go ahead and bring it back through. Swap it out. All right, I appreciate it. All right, buddy, have a good one. Got an additional, uh, yep, you too. Stay safe. Thanks. All right, nice and simple. He was there for a hot minute. I was swapping departments from the Sandy Shores department that you guys saw over to Highway Patrol. So he was there for a hot minute since, like, I pretty much got done with the, uh, Sandy Shores Police Department. Oh my god, this thing is so sexy. Let's go ahead and turn around. I gotta get some gas. I'm gonna 10-8. Walking 24 be 10-8 off that supervisor request. Oh, is a new dispatcher too? Oh my god, they- we've went through so many dispatchers this episode, so <laughs> that's great. Alright, let's, uh... Let's just hop out and get us some gas. No kidding. No kidding what? No kidding where? No kidding who? We definitely need some ALPRs. Definitely need ALPRs because if we got all these ALPRs on all the different types of vehicles, wow, this is slow on the gas. Um, it would definitely be nice to be able to run plates and make sure the suspect, you know, comes back wanted, and we really don't even have to work that hard. It just uh, comes back with the wanted status, and then, you know, we could handle it accordingly. I think it would be really cool. It would add a uh, level, you know, of roleplay that would be fairly simple. And that's what cops do. They just drive around, and they're just marking everyone with their stuff. And if one comes back as with the warrant, it's like, boom, there you go. Cool. That was simple. But then the hard part comes actually stopping the vehicle, and it's like, is it a felony warrant, or what is it? You good? Hello. You good? Yeah, I was just reviewing some footage. There's a guy drifting around that uh, we got pulled over up the road there at that gas station. Okay. And I came in here and got my lights on. Yeah, I, I'm all right then. If your vehicle's not screwed up on your end, you might want to fix it up because it looks like you got rear-ended. So that's why I was kind of curious what was going on. 
Oh, yeah, it, it looks it looks good on my side. Okay, yeah, just give it a fix then when you get in. All right, glad you got it squared away. Yeah. Thank you. Yep, we'll see you. I wasn't sure, honestly. I was like, it looked like you got hit by a bulldozer, dude. I was like, are you, are you good? Like, he's good though. That's why I like to stop courtesy checks. You know what I mean? It, it, it's honestly, I got up to the car. I was like, oh shit, there's no officer. And then I turn around and he's walking up to it. I bet he thought it was gonna like call for a tow truck on his shit or something. But I wanted to make sure he was okay. He's chilling though. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Probably got rear-ended by some AI and didn't see it on his screen. But it happened on everyone else's. That's usually how it goes. This guy's gonna be speeding. No. Wow, I'm not even catching it. How am I not catching that? That's crazy. Surprised I did not catch that. Oh, look at it. It's this guy in that race car. I'm gonna see what's going on. I'm just gonna do a whole bunch of courtesy checks. That's what I've been doing. Just making sure everyone's okay. Wow, he just got rolled up on. I just want to hear what's going on. That's the U tool. They said they didn't have an issue with the lot was empty, which it was. Uh, oh, therefore, yeah. you typically won't have a reason to, you know, initiate your lights and all that. These are always fun to just kind of go it's around and see what other people are working. And, uh, you know what I mean? We I might not be, be attached, but just rolling through, kind of yeah, just listening that, and seeing. Uh, Honestly, the way that they have these cars parked is just sexy as fuck. One behind yeah, them, one okay. kind of crooked in the front, blocking them. So as long as you didn't and all of them have different unit it. numbers on the top. That's fucking wicked. Down, right? That's what I'm down. talking about. Make sure, well, you already know that he's all good and registered to everything. So and I'm just over here listening. Off, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. No, he's good. Have a nice day. Try for any misconceptions. Try to make sure you uh, a, are good to go. Unit, yeah. Okay, looks like they're letting him go. Okay. So you're gonna... <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Funny people. Funny, funny people. Oh, that was a uh, that was an aggressive U-turn in front of hella cars. Okay, so we're gonna run some lidar right now on some vehicles to kind of see what their speed is. Looks like everyone's going relatively slow right now, which is good. This is a pretty major corridor here. Obviously, they're going to see me, but um, we're going to be able to pick them up way before they pretty much are able to slow down and think that I'm actually able to do anything, which is kind of interesting. I always thought that this was like a really cool addition that we really needed, which was like handheld radar, because it's, it's so important okay. to be able to hop out of your car and not have to point it in a specific direction or anything yeah. like that. And we're picking them up at about 325 feet, which is not bad. 400 almost there. Three ninety four. That's some pretty solid fee right there, though. Can you roll me a seventy one? It's gonna be postal zero seven zero for officer about ten fifty. Another ten fifty. Holy shit! They need to learn to get their driving together. Holy shit! Can we westbound Sonora? Correction, northbound Sonora. That's not that far, I don't think, from our location right now. Temple. Yeah, people are going relatively slow. Go this is a uh, pretty controlled area right now. It's not like people are going super crazy. What is he doing? What? Disregard. Okay, it looks like, um... 10-4, I'll be available. Copy, you're 7 0 west north, uh, excuse me, north, Norway. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Zero seven zero. Walk your 24, copy, I'll be around. Not too far from our location. Let's get this other marker gone so I don't get morbidly confused here trying to drive. If it's that. So that guy, I had gunned him, but he wasn't speeding. And I guess he realized at that point that he was getting pulled over because he pulled over literally directly in front of us. So we're going to go out for a officer-involved 1050 right now. 
I want to get this done quick because I want to get out and do a patrol and not handle a whole bunch of 1050s today. I want to try to catch someone speeding or, you know, whatever I can get. I want to be proactive, I guess you could say. Hard to be proactive when I'm handling a whole bunch of uh, 1050 reports right now. So we're going to try to quickly get this done. We'll sign up the paperwork, have him sign it, and then we should be good. He's going to be on this left side. No, he's right here. U.S. Route 13, there's postal 125. I'm gonna get the notepad. How's it going? Pretty good. Okay, let me just get this signed up. Then you can sign it out. Are you gonna be able to make it back? I should be, uh, AI can't my lane hit me. Yeah, they just know. came over and just hit you? Yeah, they came over, they did with the... Uh, with okay. Okay, just go to sign the bottom. I'll file it. If you want to take it to a closer station, if they got any cruisers there, you can do that instead of going back to headquarters. I got you, man. Appreciate it. Alright, you have a good one. That is unknown at this right, time. Uh, yep. Oh, I have my radar gun still. So I wanted to get back on it. We're back on it. Nice and quick, simple and easy. He's got to go back to the station, get a new cruiser. I want to go find a radar spot. My door's not going to fucking shut. Dude, my fucking door. There we go. I was going to say, if we just have like an open door that's just slapping the whole time, that's not going to be good. It's not going to be the most professional look I want to to go with. Walking 24, maybe 10 8 off that supervisor request. King 24, 11, 6, 6. 5 remain, so one traffic. 8 7 one, one, one. citation. Okay, so it looks like that guy that was up ahead of us got a citation for most likely his speed. I'd say that was a pretty good spot, but unfortunately, there was some people coming in hot, and uh, that was them, and this, the position kind of got compromised. It did. I'm going to try to find another one, see if we can get anyone that possibly might be coming out from Polito or going out to Polito. One of the ways using the 13 here. The 13 seems to be popping right now, so I think I can get something pretty good. I just got to try to find a good location to sit to make it happen, Captain. You know what I'm saying? Charlie 427. Charlie 427. Damn, he's been pulled over so many times and he's about to get pulled over again, dude. 73. This guy is crazy. I don't know what he's doing, but he's going to get pulled over. And we're coming up quick on him, but we're going to take him down. Oh, what is he doing, dude? Is he drifting? I think he's drifting. I'm going to wait a second to see what he does here. Okay, dangerous change of lanes along with 73 miles per hour. I think we're not going to let him do any more stuff and just pull him over. Oh, yeah. All right, let's light him up. Good. Do we have any active supervisors available? Eight them. Okay, let's go ahead and light this guy up. Two seven nine, the gas station, Sandy. I've got um. Change my spotlights really quick. Ooh, finally got a traffic stop though. Was wondering if we were gonna see anyone. Holy shit! Especially in the city, it was dry as fuck over here. Now we got this. I gotta get this on the radio. But dispatch is tied up with a supervisor request. I, if he calls me out for it when I just got out of traffic stop. Break 22. Of course. <laughs> Walkie 24. I got a 10 11. Walkie 24. Go ahead. A260 westbound Route 68 on a two door. I'm sorry, four door. Kudo, Karen, uh, occupied times one, I believe. King 24, copy. Right over 447 to the outlet. Uh, seven. I remain on some control. You got an EMS order this way, correct? How you doing? Confirm this stage. King 445. Yeah, go on, roll, man. Copy, fine. You've been pulled over many, many, many times today. 
Any reason why you keep yeah, getting pulled yeah, over? Yeah, yeah. That's it. These guys just have it out for me. Well, I highly doubt that if you're going like 73 yeah, miles per hour. I'm, I'm just trying to work enough, my man. drift, man. Okay, we well. There's drift competition down in Los Santos this weekend. I, I've happened to somehow pass by every time you were pulled over there, so. The you, you're up to no good. Let me get your license, registration, no. insurance. Copy, sir. I'm right now. Copy. Okay, Nick Bradley. Yeah, me in the brig. Okay. Sit tight in the car. Don't move around, all right? Just sit tight in there. I'll be right back. You don't got anything in the car, right? No alcohol, drugs, or anything like that. I'm at the uh, Sandy Gap. I'll be on home sounds. I got a handgun. Is it a registered handgun? I can give you my CC. Occupy times one. Yeah, man. I can give you my CCW if you want, man. Yeah, go ahead and give me that, and I would suggest next time informing the officer upon walking up that there's a gun in the car. Oh, okay. God, sometimes right. I forget. I, sometimes I forget something. Well, it is a handgun. It's not a toy, so you shouldn't forget that you have it. So sit tight. All right. Uh, I mean. All right. We're gonna see what's going on with this guy here. I don't know why he keeps getting pulled over as much as he he, he does. Like obviously he's probably speeding around, but you'd think after the second ticket, now working on your third here. I, I, you just wouldn't want to do that, you know what I mean? To be like, and eh, too much. So his name's Nick Bradley, so we're going to get him ran in the system here. No revoke, no suspended. This is going to be a Karen Fudo or some type of Karen vehicle. I don't know what it is. Wow, there's a lot of cars attached to this account. Karuma? No, that's the... I should be able to see it from where I'm at in here. No, it is a Karen. It's a Karen, uh... Bakaru? Is that? No, that's not it. That's just like all the brands on it. Hey, Nick, how you doing? I think. Yep, you're Nick. Hey, Nick. A lot, man. Twice by me. Oh, it's the last one. That's why I kind of find it. I was like, what the hell, dude? It's not on here. The last hey, one. Hey. Probably the most registered. My life hard, man. Or last hard registered. Life, right? Okay, so he's going to be receiving a citation for two things today, which is going to be... Yeah, so... You got to... Nick Bradley. Oh if god, I did not mean to add all those pluses. Now, but if you're still doing your drifts, which you were drifting around my car and everything like you were. Nick Bradley. Not near a road and everything. Do it on private property. Yeah, right? There's no place up here to do it. So he's going to get uh, unsafe uh, lane change, which yeah, is pretty much maintaining down, lanes. He went into man. someone else's lane to, when they had the right of way, way almost cut them off. So that was the wrong time. He had the today. ability to do it, but it was the wrong uh, time to do it, which made it unsafe. So unfortunately, he's going to get a citation for that. Oh, and then he's going to get... The truth, man. Actually, it would be... I'm going to do unsafe speed for conditions. And take out maintaining lanes because he he did that all oh, too aggressively. I, I hope the drift and unfortunately, there was a vehicle right in front of him when he did that. So let's um go for I think, I speed. Think the uh, LSPD have the uh, couple streets blocked up for the uh, competition. This is going to be Route 68, 260, facing westbound. No Siri, I didn't ask for you. I don't know why some things to her sound like I say, you know what? Like, well, I really just don't get it. It's like, just mind your damn business, all right? Mind, mind your fucking business. I think he got me to stop. There's something about 73 on this road. Yeah, I believe there's a 60. Uh, maybe a 50, though. I'm not sure. All right, Mr. Bradley. So you're going to get two sites, site, or two uh, violations on your citation today, okay? One's going to be for your speed, which is the 73, 
And then the other one's going to be for your lane change because you did it way too aggressively with the vehicle and not enough room on that vehicle that was oncoming towards you. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, perfect. So just go ahead and sign the bottom citation, sign a mission to Gillett saying you're going to take care of him in court. Not. And since you've been pulled over more than every person in the state of San Andreas combined today, I would highly suggest that you knock it off. Fucking bug. Okay, do me a favor, sign the bottom citation. You can get the bugs when we get done, okay? Okay. Hey, Appreciate it. There's your copy, along with your information back, and just calm it down a little on the road. You're gonna get into some I, accident. I, I, it's I not gonna be good. It's, yeah. Okay. It's speed demon, man. Well, it's the Please it's the driver, not the car. You know that. Slow it down. Yeah. Walkie oh, 24, 10, 11 would be co four. All units back to eight. Just tried another radar spot for like a solid what felt like eight minutes. Uh, nothing too much here. Everyone's been really, you know, driving normal and all that stuff. We had one cop pass. Uh, he was even driving pretty normal, too. So, nothing too crazy right here. I don't think it's going to be really difficult to catch someone on the highway, especially coming from Polito. I mean, it's not impossible. You just got to kind of wait for a scene to kind of happen in Polito and be like, okay, let's set up, knowing that civs are most likely going to make their way back to, you know, a little deeper into the county. So, I'm in possibly not this patrol, but I'm, I'm trying, damn it. I was there. And I'm trying. Model, I just know it was a that bike was going so Negative fast. Dude, why are you going so fast? Yeah, four, thank you, I gotta so get some juice. Then why do you, you don't got a speed for it. Dude, it's about, oh, I, I just got here and it closed. See that? You got what? I, I, would I just so. got here and it closed. Yeah, so it's speed in four, it wasn't worth it. You got a license? I'll do a license to you. If I get it, that'd be great. 37 two mics. Are you been speeding all day or what are you doing? Well, I'm just man. Thank you. Okay. Alright, well, sit on your bike, stay off your bike, give me a sec, alright? Medical. Okay. So he was trying to get some juice. I wasn't even at my computer. I was trying to get a drink and I heard it through my headset when he passed. Whoa. Here, 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 here. Here, here, here. here. Take your license. I got someone else. Here, take it. Slow down. Lucky 24. There's going to be a bike traveling at a high rate of speed. Northbound 13 trying to catch up. Okay, I don't know if we're going to be caught uh, catching up to him, but I thought he was going fast. This guy was going much faster, dude. So we're going to code three trying to get caught up. I believe he's going to Polito. That's him right there. We got him. We got him. We got this shit. Lucky 24, I got him. He's now southbound 13. Speed's over 100. Whoa. Traffic is being weird over here. Lucky 24, I'm not sure if there's a unit near U-Tool, but he's about to about to pass U-Tool in about 10 seconds. Okay, okay he's passing U-Tool. I still, it's ha I'm having trouble catching up to him. Milwaukee 24, final stop, 308, Sonora Freeway, southbound at the 24-7. Copy, uh, What are you doing? Oh, Give me your license, hey, dude. Milwaukee 24 10 9. Uh, Are you in 10-11 with that vehicle? 10-4, I got him stopped here at the gas pumps. I want all your stuff that shows that you own the bike and that you have a valid driver's license. I don't believe, like, it's in my bag. No. You're welcome to take your bag off, and I will not shoot you doing so. I got some stuff in there. Well, I don't know what that means, but... No, I got some stuff in my bag. I just okay. 
As long as you don't have a gun and you're gonna pull a gun, then we're good. You, uh, you wanna back up? You can just hang out. I'm pretty sure he's chilling. I had another guy there that was speeding to go to the juice stand. Alright, thank you. Over here. Um, yeah, me trying to meet up with my buddy. Sorry. Bro. Is he on a bike too? Nah, he's in a fucking Swift. Okay. Car. Well, I had another bike stopped, and then he went past that a hundred something on the highway. So, all right. I was doing oh, don't give me that. You know you were. You were going well over a hundred miles per hour. Did I clock yeah, you? No, but I knew you were. That's for sure. At least he's getting my credits. Other guy was going about eighty. You were going a hundred. So sit tight. Hundred and eleven. Oh, 111. Well, thank you for so, clarifying. <laughs> he so, just so clarified. If you weren't doing technically 100 and you were doing 111, uh, they could just talk yourself into a ticket. No, oh, he was already no, getting no. a ticket. That's that's for sure. He could be arrested. I mean, you never know. It's up to him. KC Maxwell. No, KC, there you Nope, legal. Well, I think you should refresh on those. KC. Maxwell. No. You ain't going nowhere. That's it. Yeah, why don't you, uh, why don't you hang out here? No revoked, no suspended. What kind of bike is that? He likes his bikes. What's the plate on that? I like how he looked down. Sorry, say that again. <laughs> hang on, it's, uh, it's S-C-A-T. C-A-T-1. Scat, cat, one. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Perfect, thanks. Control calling five David three nine zero. Okay, so let's do Scat Cat one. He has a few registered bikes and stuff to his name. Do, Other than that, he's good though. Up with my uh, let's see, citation, infraction for yeah, speeding. Yeah, uh, I mean maybe he's in a he's in an orange car. That's the person we're looking for. What's his name? KC uh, Maxwell. Was well, he doing something illegal? So if I'm if I'm not mistaken, uh, that guy's wanted right now for speeding. I'm gonna ask dispatch here in a second. One K twenty four dispatch is that orange vehicle still wanted? A from I believe for going twenty five. Four. I got a person here on my traffic stop that is friends with him. I believe I could probably get the location of that driver. Roger. Actually, before I do this. So, I got a uh, idea here. I haven't submitted the ticket, but you were going extremely fast, and I could visually estimate you going over the speed limit and give you the lowest tier. So, I could not file this, and you can give me the location of the guy on the... or that drives the orange bike, or I'm sorry, the orange car, and you'll be good. I drive the orange bike. Yeah, I know you drive the orange bike, but the guy that has the orange car. Well, who's, whose gas is he filling up? The, the fact that you don't get a ticket. Well, then you're going to get a ticket. <laughs> what did any other... Well, if you want a ticket, that's fine. That's that's totally fine. Gangster. All right. Well. But I don't want a ticket. Like, what about something else? There's this isn't a rodeo. I'm not gonna have you dance on, you know, one foot while rubbing your stomach. That's not how it works. Like. I got this. I'll tell you where he is. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, but I have to get my hands on him first. Highway speed. Oh well, good. That's gonna help us. So I'm not gonna take No, I mean at this point. You're pretty much not helping us, even though we really need help. So I'll just, I'll just get your ticket submitted, and we'll get you out of here. And I mean, I don't, I don't know where you, but see, but see, I don't know. You said you were, you trying to meet up with them, so obviously you know where he's at. It's not like. Trying, like I put the emphasis on on the ing and try. Okay, well, unfortunately, I can't help you. Then I had a pretty specific deal, so that's that's fine. And. I can try to text him. Okay, well, it's just for a speeding citation, so I don't want to set up a huge thing for I'm a, I'm him broke, on that. I got, I, got, I got to go to college. I got, I got weed to buy. <laughs> I got weed to buy. You got to go to college and you got weed to buy, that's why you're broke? Yeah. Yeah. Seems legit. What about, what about food? I got to give him this. Is that a priority or no? I mean, yeah. Well, you could save your money and uh, get out of this ticket here. 
Because I'm sure it's pretty hefty, uh, hefty dude, fine. I, 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 see, see, see I, I put this on mobs. I, I would tell you, man. But like, I don't know what the fuck you Okay, well, it's a $234 ticket at this time since I'm I'm not dude, getting the guy show, that's... You know much weed that guy well, that's not my problem. I'll tell you what. I'll let the courts know I'm going to submit the ticket and you're going to have to sign in and all that stuff. But I'm just saying, I'm going to give you my card. If you find this guy, you can let me know and I can talk to the courts and say that you're, you know, you helped us out. I'll hand you my business card. There you go. That's my card. Oh shit, can I use it for like discounts on like citations and shit? No. It's just a business card, it's not a discount card. Okay. Let me get that submitted, I'm gonna grab my ticket book, hold on. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I thought you said you wanted to ditch the ticket. You didn't help me! It's like, what the fuck? No, you didn't help me. If you would've helped me and I would've been ticketing that other guy for... I have him... I have a lot of cops looking for that guy, so that's that's why I, oh sorry that's why I want to deal with him because he's in a vehicle. You can lane split. The fact that you even stopped instead of running from me, pretty surprising. So you know it's just one of those things where I'll cut you a break, but you're not getting cut a break. I tried to cut you a break, but you aren't working with me here really. So <laughs> I'm gonna mentally break him down. Okay, and that's why I gave you my business card. If you find out where he's at, you can contact me. We'll set something up. I'll let the courts know and. You'll, you'll, you're not gonna be a snitch, you're just, you're helping make sure we keep the streets safe, you know what I mean? Okay, like I'm a cop, so. No, you're not a cop, I'm just saying. Okay, just do me a favor, sign the bond of citation, it's not a mission girl saying you take care of a court. Alrighty, there's your copy along with your license back. So like, when I don't find do I still not get a ticket? I mean, we'll just have to work it out. If you give me a call, then you give me a call. If not, when you get the uh, official notice in the mail, make sure you pay for it, because if not, it could be a bench warrant, so. All right, sir. Well, you have a great day. Drive a little safer. Slow it down. Glad you're wearing a helmet, though. That's good. You can keep that up. Yeah, one way. <laughs> okay. That's, that's really sticking it to the man when we have to pick your brains up off the ground. Fucking idiot. Alright, appreciate it. Yep. Okay, so he's going in the 24-7. I'm gonna, um... Pull around the back here. We gotta get ourselves cleared on the, uh, MDT here. Or through dispatch. I wanna see, so we had other people rolled up at the, um... U-Tool here. I'm gonna go to the U-Tool and see if it's that guy that I had spoke with earlier. Let me go ahead and see if I go down this. So, we had that bike stopped earlier before that bike went speeding past. Uh, and I think he might have a 1011. Were you trying to stop him? I'm just trying to see what he's doing. He's catching some pretty serious hairs. Well, that's the guy I had stopped earlier for going 80 on uh, Joshua there. But I had a run off to the other guy on the orange bike. Didn't they say something about... A traffic stop here, so okay. He just jumped over my motherfucking oh, car. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're gonna stop him from over here. Let's see here. Where is he? Oh, he's right here hiding. Is that what he's doing? Is hiding like. Walking 24, 1011 is going to be code 4, both I'm units sorry. back 10A, we're going to have a new 1011. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are you thinking, man? What's up, too much fun. To be 313 Sonora Freeway at the U-Tool behind the business with a occupant on a motorcycle. We're going to have a stop on him. Yeah, I do. It's in the back, back right pocket. Yeah, I'm going to grab that, okay? Didn't I just have you stopped? What are you doing? Negative. I was having fun. Walking 24, the orange motorcycle I just had stopped. Okay, disregard. Apologies. Okay, put your hands down, turn around. You can put your hands down. So, 
I just stopped you. I let you go after going and chasing someone else on a bike. Hold on. Um, I, I stop you for speeding, and then I see another guy speeding, so I let you go, thinking that, that you would have taken that as, like, you know, a break or something, and then you're over here jumping over my car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you did jump over the car. Like, if if you would have any shorter, you would have hit my car. I kind of like. I need new pants as well. Oh, I bet you shit yourself. What the fuck was that? Okay, get your license again. We're gonna we're gonna have to ticket you this time. So, why there's a bird on my car? Behind you want to run that? I'll see what they're up to. Yeah, that's fine. You good? Can I help you? Yeah, the guy snitched on me. Okay. Up, what, doing? What, what the fuck does that mean? Who snitched on you? It was in my back right pocket. That I got and what do you want me to do? Leave. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. We're handling what we need to handle with them. So I don't need you to be intimidating someone or... Anything, so just get on your merry way. Get on your merry way. Yeah, yeah, I, I won't be back. Good. Good. Okay. I, I will never come back to this spot with him here. That's great. What's your name? Uh-huh, that's what I thought. Get out of here. I need to buy new pants. I can feel it running down my legs to my ankles. So, uh, what else are you doing besides jumping over police cars? Uh, I was trying, I was just mucking about, hitting those jumps in there, like, it's off the roads, nowhere near things, but then that last jump, I was like, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna land for short. And I went to press the brake, and it must have been an accelerator. Okay. He's clear. He has no priors. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even get to run his name before last time. All right. So, what do you what do you want us to do with you? You want? I mean, like, I don't get. I stop you, and then I let you go, and then all of a sudden you jump over my car. So, what what should we do here? We'll do the right thing. Which would be. Citation or fine, whatever it's called. Well, why shouldn't I arrest you? No, he cleared it. Well, if you arrest me, you might get out who he sees. Well, my car will be clean. <laughs> That's. I mean, someone's car is going to be dirty, but mine will be clean, so. <laughs> That's great. Not pointing fingers or anything. So basically, what we're looking at here is I could I could go two ways with this. You were on a motorcycle, you know, you're jumping into a parking lot, and I guarantee you if I were to talk to the owners of the U-Tool, they don't want people jumping in their parking lot like that, especially off of a freeway and all that fun stuff. So I get I can go. Hey, look up there! Look up there! Up there! What? Let's go up there! He just crawled away. Okay. Let's go up there. Go up well, there. I highly recommend that you watch yourself because there's people looking out looking for you because you supposedly snitched on them or something so anyways like I said snitched. I don't know that's what snitched. they think so who said that uh, we can go reckless driving or we can go public endangerment one oh, is a ticket okay we uh, There's someone up there. okay yeah I, I'm sure it's the guys I just kicked yeah, loose over there and told them to bounce because they wanted to I assume beat him up because he snitched So, again, public endangerment, reckless driving. One's a ticket, one's, uh, jail time. I'll take the ticket. Oh, why? Well, I'm sure you would. But if I stop you, let you go, and then you're just going to repeat the same stuff, there's no reason for me to just give you a ticket. Do what you got to do, then. What are you thinking, Trooper? I'm just trying to fuck with them mentally. I can see him up there. He has no priors on his, uh, that I can see. Um, personally, I'd say, I'd say give him a verbal, and if it happens again, obviously we can revisit the situation, but... Well, I think he has bigger fish to fry anyways with the people that are looking for him right now, so... 
you want to get him a whatever you think, I will sit here with them. Yeah. Um, Actually, can I come back to the station with you? I knew it. Uh, there it is. Stay here, Mike. I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you a verbal warning for your uh, your reckless operation, okay? Yep. I'm going to give you your information back. There you go. Thank you. Okay, and you're free to get on your bike and leave. We'll, we'll stay here until you're out of the area, okay? Can I come in your car? Uh, no, you cannot. Can I get a reword? Can I go in his car? Nope. No, you cannot. <laughs> They're just flipping them off. Just, just get on your bike. Get on your bike. Take the fact that you're not getting a ticket and bounce. Okay, well, at least the will fly to my hands that way. I got that, uh... Guy in the orange SUV or whatever it is, we want to head over there. He's in the back of the 24/7 parking lot. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. All right, let me message him back. Thank you, officer. Have a good day. Have a good one. I'll clear us and then uh, we can bounce. Is that other unit? Around God around damn it. Um, no, it's Sandy, I think. The parking lot has... Oh, like my God, get up. Oh, yeah. my God, I'm going to punch yeah, a baby. I think I'm 23 now. Uh, I think I just pulled up to you. Those ridges, those parking lot ridges. Two Tango, one, six, four, be about, you have one up in line. Here's close to one up. All right, I'll just try to find an open time on the radio going yeah, over there. Walking 24, traffic stops to be code 4, back, uh, both units back 10-8. We've got that orange vehicle updated location at the 24-7 parking lot. We're going to be heading over there. Ten four. It's going to be one zero zero right now. I got him out of the car. Copy. One two twenty four right that way. Copy, if you could go ahead and send the unit that was on my last traffic stop, too. Okay, so we're looking at about a mile and a quarter away for that reckless driver that we've been looking for. They've been speeding all over the place, and we finally got them. Or at least another unit has. They were at the 24-7, but they somehow managed... Maybe they were at the uh, 13, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, we should. Oh, you know what? It was a 24. Is it the 24 7 in Harmony? That might actually be it. Let's go ahead and actually start. Oh, shit. He just took him into custody? Damn. Let's, I don't know why, but let's just go ahead and get there. One zero zero Sonora. How the fuck did he get all the way over here? Damn, right up here on Sonora Road, or is this Union? Ten four, we're coming up on Union right now. I think this is it, right? Where is that? Is that left there, or I'm so confused? It'll be south of that, sir. So we got to go yeah, down. They're, they're to our left. Okay. Yeah, down and around. Uh, oh, I see him. Damn, they got hell of cops there. Shit. Fuck. Right here, we're gonna turn around. Now, that way we don't have to hit down barriers. Walkie 24, both units on scene. Yeah, this is the guy we were looking for. Okay, so, again, it's not 21 questions. When I tell <laughs> you to do something, you just gotta do it, okay? I mean, it's it not really that difficult. It's not really that difficult, so do me a favor, take oh, a seat in the wait, car, wait. and I'll come talk to you in a second. Hush, hush, hush. Hey, You're supervisor, ready? you wanna hear my story? Uh, no, I assure you he doesn't wanna hear your story. There it is. No, he doesn't. Alright, so this is what happened. So... <laughs> It was a vehicle, and he was driving around in a sports car or supercar, whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't know how you talk with the door closed. I was like, 
Oh, I can hear me. And I was like, <laughs> man, I, I, I really like that car. And then I saw on Twitter, he was selling that shit. And I was like, man, I'm gonna buy. It. So I went there with like a whole bunch of money, like enough money actually. It ended up being like it wasn't that much. But he was like, all right, so I'm gonna pretend I'm to take to notes here with. Like, he said 12k, and I was like, that's really expensive for that car, man, 12k, it's expensive. He was like, he's like, I don't know, man, like, that's cheap, it's a $108,000 car, why, why, like, why should I give it to you for that cheap? And I was like, man, you, you're playing a hard bargain, man, and he was like, alright, 8k, and I was you like, bet! So I bought what that the shit, fuck? Okay. that shit's mine right. now. Well, y'all motherfuckers probably gotta take it, but that shit was mine for like 10 minutes, okay. and that shit was solid as fuck. You're right about that? What so who's right the guy that, that sold you the car? What does he look like? What's his name? Oh, dude. Uh, that, that information's probably on the title, but he, he looks like a baller. Fucking love that guy. Okay. Yeah, I got all the, uh, I got all the, the title and the bill of sale, all that stuff right here. Um, I saw, I visually estimated, uh, correction, visually... I uh, saw him traveling at high speed, weaving into our lanes. He banged the. That's probably the same guy. Onto the highway, and I believe a trooper clocked him at like uh, I believe. That is a nice car, though. Holy shit! Uncompliant. When I came up to the vehicle, I opened him out. He consisted. Correction insisted on telling me his story. After I got out of the car multiple times. You interrupted me. Okay. When did you get the vehicle? When did you get possession of the vehicle? Supervisor, sir, listen, listen. This is the more important question. No. It's a question of morals. Uh, if, if, you, if you if you were telling a story, would you want me to interrupt you? Uh, you were finished telling your story, so now I'm asking when you got possession of the vehicle. No, well, when you no, no, supposedly no, 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 got possession of the, the vehicle. With the, with, the, with the trooper, or the, the, PD, the PD guy. I was telling my story and he was interrupting me, asking me about my license and registration. And step out of the vehicle, all that like boring stuff. Did you grab stuff. His, uh, his license okay. and registration? When did you get possession there? of the vehicle, supposedly? I'm using that word, so... Vehicle, like, 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago. Okay, was a guy white, black, Asian, what, Mexican, what? Uh, it was, it was a white dude. Okay, and you said he was part of the ballers, though? No, 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 he's a baller. He's just a cool guy. Oh, just a like, baller, not a part of the a ballers. Of okay, I got you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so he wasn't like flared up in any gang colors or anything like that? Nah, 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 nah. Okay. Alright, right now, you understand why we stopped you, right? Or... Well, I mean, I, I public endangerment and obstruction, but I was just trying to tell my story. Okay. So I guess public endangerment, but like, you know, I'm chilling, man. I'm just driving my new car. Like, okay. Well, like, they stopped you for lot. the incident that you obviously Compliant, had in the vehicle, yeah. but we were looking for this vehicle for other incidences that it was been involved in as well. So you're kind of in like a catch-22 oh. right now. So we'll note your story. We're going to... Make sure we pass it on to the detectives. Um, give us a minute. We're going to have a chat. Just sit tight in here, okay? Well, hot damn. Just call the DMV. I'll tell you. I don't know what the DMV will be able to help us with, but okay. <laughs> like, I, mean, hey, I like, just bought the vehicle. What, okay. What the investigation the have to do with this? Well, that's... The not there, there's it's an investigation, but okay. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and go through with... I believe this is our guy, and he's just throwing us a bone right now with the story. So, I say we just go through with this is our guy. What do you what do you catch him at? What speed? Um, there was a. I think somebody clocked him at 108. Well, let's get his name. To see where we're at here. If this is the guy, or if it's not the guy. Whether he's the guy or not, right now he's in possession of the vehicle. We are obviously looking for this guy due to his speed and the way he's driving so the the vehicle's wanted and he's in possession of a you know a wanted vehicle so we'll have to figure out logistics later but i want to know if that's the guy or maybe we have somewhat of an actual truth going on here well i pat him Looks down like uh, I, didn't, I didn't find a wallet on him i just had a uh, some information on the car there's a bill of sales and there's a title um this officer searched this car five, the car five, and five, can we tell one and um and find any license and find it. I, I don't know if he found a registration, but I know there's no wallet or no license that he found. Okay. So, well, I'm sure if he has a bill of sale on him, he probably uh, just bought it. But yeah. again, he was driving recklessly himself, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, definitely. He was either way, down the lanes and... He's going to jail anyway. Go back to yeah. Okay. Well, let's get his name and figure out his name, and then from there, we'll just take him in and get the car towed. Yep. 
Cool, cool. All right, All right guys. We'll uh, go we'll talk to him for a little bit. Damn, hella lights. I don't think we need to really stick around anymore. Hey, uh, Paul guy, you want to hit that uh, F9? Yeah. I love how I can't ever get up from it now. I got a couple questions for you. Can I have one? Why are you operating a motor vehicle without a license? I pat you down, you don't have a wallet, you don't have a license, you don't have anything on you. It helps up, he says. Seems legit. What do you mean? Okay, well, this officer searched your car and there was nothing in there. Four, code six. So stop beating around the bush. All my paperwork's in there, man. Hold on, it's my turn to tell the people to work. It so seems legit. Just the in there. The you guys just here. didn't find it. It's in the You're glove box, a man. Hole here. Okay. What? So, <laughs> Lucky 24, sure go ahead. Me. Okay. And I'm going to tell you right now. Advisor, do you want that to be on with the Doom Buggy? Work with me, I'm going to work with you. You don't work with me, I'm not going to work with you. Stand by one, can you repeat? Advise, uh, were you on a 1011 with the uh, Doom Buggy earlier today? Negative. Lucky 24, I had a brief in, uh, interaction with him at the U-Toll, told him to get out of my traffic stop, and then he proceeded to stand on the U-Toll roof. Advised, by chance, did you get his name, sir? <laughs> Negative, I asked for it, and he, that's when he took off. Two Tango, one six five. I can get your name, I have his name. It, it's a title, man. They transfer it to my name when you sign the title. Do you know how the title works? But the plate would also not match up to you. Wouldn't you also you not. Like That's, ago, how many you double see? negatives is that, man? Holy okay, shit. so you, you basically, if everything's registered right in his name, that's fine. He's a, he, he, he he is the... Okay, name. perfect. Okay, then you're going to jail because you're the person we were looking for. All right, case closed. No, like no, I, no, 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 no. I registered it. That's fine. I but what I'm saying is, we need to figure out the person who had I, it before I, then, but right now, I you are the person- We've already asked is. you that ten times. No, 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 no. I know who that is. Well, listen, all right. Well, work with me. <laughs> you work with me. Stop telling me to work with you when you're not working with me. No, no, no. Like, work with me. No. I'll tell you who it is if you let me out. Regardless of the point, the both of you did the same thing. I know the information you want. regardless, you're going to jail shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. All right, we're done. You're not going to tell people to shut up. We're going to- End this here, and you're gonna cool off. And no, <laughs> he just got in the car and sat there. <laughs> oh, that's great. Hey, Foster, okay? I know who it is. If you want to pop this door, let me drive that car away. We're, we can't let you drive the car away when you've been pulled over for reckless driving. These boomers, as we like to call them, don't know shit. It was like guy's, this guy's on no big his, deal. He's, he's really no big like deal. Okay. All right. Well, explain that to your lawyer then when you get to court. That's fine. I know who you need. If you want me, if you want. And on the on the way to the station, tell the officer that's transporting you who it is. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. We're getting off this. This guy uh, not only had the issue we were looking for earlier, which we actually found out it was him, but then he also had previous or current issues that resulted in him getting pulled over at that location anyways so we were looking for him for a good minute anyways uh thankfully we were able to find that individual we're going to be heading back to the station now to wrap up this patrol so i can get back in for the bcso since we did a nice little sandy shores uh which would be lspd kind of and then highway patrol which is highway patrol obviously and then bcso keep it in that fashion uh, but I'm having fun doing the LEO tonight. It's been some pretty interesting calls. Hasn't been like, you know, a lot of vehicle pursuits and all that, but a lot of calls like these are really nice to get in there, do some traffic stops. That means, you know, it's really active traffic enforcement, which is good. Proactive policing. Didn't get any LIDARs, but it's okay. We'll get them in the future. We're going to work hard to attempt to get them. We just really got to find those spots that kind of work with what we're trying to do. But nonetheless, thank you all so much for coming out and watching this episode of DOJRP, and we will see you next video. Thank you.